good morning one and all present here so our first unit is ethics for engineers so this is our uh, syllabus so as far as the first unit is concerned so moral values and ethics integrity work ethics service learning civic virtue respect for others living peacefully caring sharing honesty courage valuing timing cooperation commitment empathy self confidence character spirituality introduction to yoga and meditation for the professional excellence and stress management so ethics defined so moral codes are the rules that establish the boundaries of general acceptance of behavior so morality refers to social convenience about right and wrong human contact so ethics or beliefs regarding right and wrong behavior we choose or the habit that inclines us to do what is acceptable vice or habits that inclines us to do what is unacceptable value system is the complex schemes of the moral values so the importance of the integrity is or the integrity is used to refer to people who act in the ways that are consistent with their own code of principles you often reflect on your principles when you consider what you are of to do in the different situation ethics in the business world globalization of organizations has created a complex business world risk is the li uh, likelihood of the negative even times the compact of the event why business ethics are important so protects the organizations and it implies uh, the employees from the legal action create an organization that of operates consistently produce good business avoid un unfavorable publicity gains the good will to the community code of conduct a guide that highlights an organization's key ethical issues and identifying an overarching values and the principles that are important to the organization and that can help in decision making the code of conduct helps ensures that employees abide by the law follow necessary regulations behave in an ethical manner ethical decision making this all the ethical decision making so first one the get the facts second the identifying the stakeholders and their position third point is the consider of the consequences of your decision fourth one weighing various guidelines and principles we choose a uh, utility fairness common good etc Fifth point is develop and evaluate options. Sixth, review your decision. Seventh one, evaluate the results and your decision. So these are all the common four common approaches used in the ethical decision making. So I have tabulated here. So approach to the dealing with the moral issues and the principles. So first one is the moral values. So the ethical choice is the one that best reflects moral virtues in the overall phenomenon. So next is utilitarian approach. so this is the choice is the one of the to produce the greatest excess of the benefit over harm fairness of course the ethical choice is the one that treats everyone the same and does not show common good approach is the advance the common good so eth ethics is the information technology the increased use of information technology has raised many ethical issues for today's it profession so licensing of it professionals not only this is applicable for the it professional as for as the civil engineering also function so licensing of it professionals so next one is the internet communications so intellectual properties employee and employers is used work work ethics is a set of values that are hard on work and vigilance it is also a belief in the moral benefit of the work and its ability to enhance character the work ethic may includes being reliable having initiative or pursuing new skills workers exhibition a good work ethic in theory should be selected for better positions more responsibility and ultimately promotion so work who fails to exhibit a good work ethic may be regarded as falling to provide fair values for a wage the employer is facing them and should not be promoted or placing the positions of great responsibilities so work ethic is not just hard work but also a set of accompanying virtues whose crucial role is the development and sustenance of the free market 
So what is self-learning? Self-learning is the teaching or learning strategies that encourage meaningful community service with the instruction and reflecting to enrich the learning experience. Teach civic responsibilities and strengthen communities. So here I have showed us the uh, pictorial representation. So service learning and what is the recipient and what is the provider's needed. So, and also I have explained the, with the pictorial representation, what is volunteerism and what is internship in the field of self-learning. So, differentiating self-learning from the other form of education. So, what is the uh, other form of education? So, so from the, whatever it may be, it, it like an internship or it, it may be a uh, course learning. So, other than the self-learning, so uh, we can see the what are the types of the, the uh, self-learning, other form the other form of the education. So, experimental learning, the knowledge and the skill acquired through life, work experience and studies with the, which have not been formally attested through the any educational or professional education. So, internship. What is internship? A yeah, work-related learning experience for the individual who wish to develop hands-on work experience in a certain of occupational field. So, practice, practicum, a college course that is designed to give the students as a supervised multiplication of the factors. So, what is the civic virtue? Civic virtue is the moral underpinning of how a citizen behaves and is involved in society. It is the standard of legitimate behavior in relationship to the citizen involvement in the society. And an individual may exhibit civic virtue by voting, volunteering, and organizing other activities. Uh, so, without an understanding of civic issues, citizens are less likely to look be beyond their families, friends, and economic interests. So, they are less likely to help others in the communities to volunteer their time to give the non profit organization or to participate in group activities that benefit society. So, relative, relatively, ideas of for virtue, civic issue, or citizenship, uh, public good. And volunteerism and yes, social capital. So this is all called the civic virtues. So respect for others. So respect is the feeling of admir admiration or de difference towards a person, group, ideal, or in the al almost any identity or concept as well as the specific action and conduct representative uh, of the esteem. So whether between spouses, friends, co-workers, or business associates. If there is an history of mutual respect and sincerity gratitude, the people involved are generally happier and more successful. We live in the world where there are many differences between people. But with an open-minded and an appreciation of each person's contribution to this world, it strengthens the relationship of our community. So how to show respect? Listen, it sounds easy. But listening, truly listening, can be no one be the hardest skill to master. If you move, want to a person to know your respect to him or her, then tune into the what the person is saying. Look them into the eyes and even feedback when necessary. Even one appreciates, appreciates the persons who are willing listening to them and shows genuine interest in what they, what they have to say. Then Krish, if you are if you have ever had a bad day, then you have know the poor a little encouragement can have. You will all to the moment when we need some time to tell us, don't worry, things will work out. It will, uh, it might not be seems like a much time at the time, but the person will remember that you can time look at the time. So, how to show the respect? We can continue the congratulate. Congratulate is if someone does not do a great job, let them know about it. In fact, let everyone knows about it. Openly congratulate someone for a, a job well done, especially if you are a manager. The employees will work harder and happier knowing their manager has a mutual respect for them and its willingness to express price and gratitude when he deserves. Be helpful. If you find a friend or co-worker in a jam, you will we'll be willing to help them if they are possible. Not to say you should take an half of their project, but offering some advice or throwing a little bit of your time with a mean a lot of time. If their friend or co-workers has helped you in the past, then returning the favor will be a nice way to show both respect and gratitude. Say thank you. So I am sure this one seems like good, uh, common sense, but many people just forgot to say thank you, or at least forgot how to say it was a sincerity. A thank you can be a small 
as a two words or as you much as by someone say give netherless it's an action of the sincerity then it is best to make sure people you appreciate them on their action simply saying thank you living peacefully our principle of peace living is centers on the ethical and sustainable applications of the technologies uh, which would be aimed to provide basic needs for the everyone without compromising the planet resources here are the steps which can be helpful to discover your journey towards living in the peace seek to love not control others find your inner peace so moderate your conviction be tolerant be peace reflection of thoughts seeking forgiveness not revenge living in joy be then you can wish want you live caring be caring all allows you to have empathy for others and to live a life based on affection love compassion for the people around you being caring means providing a listening ear no- noticing when someone needs help and helping your community without asking for a reward if you want to know how to more caring today three steps to get started be polite always you don't have to be over, overly formal to be polite you just have to be considerate of other people and make them feel comfortable in your presence be affectionate action really can be speak louder than words sometimes though telling a person you care can make a big difference sometimes you that a uh, person is a huge or putting your arm around him and her with a extra impact so caring steps to get your daughter be more generous so being generous with the with it with the, your time or your money can go a long way in being a more caring person treat other like you want to be treated if you want to be a more caring then you want to be kind of and thoughtful towards others and think of how you would like to feel uh, if you are in their shoes be considerate of others be uh consider it in other major major aspects of their caring if you want to be considerate then you want to be the respect people around you to to provide or to avoid the nuisance of yourself sharing is the just uh use of the resource of your uh space in a narrow sense it refers to joint or alternating use of inhabitably fine goods such as a common pasture or a shared resistance which is also in the process of dividing the distribution apart from obvious instances which can be observed in a human activity we can always find many examples of uh, happening in a nature when an organization organism takes in a nutrition of organism for instance its neutral internal organs are designed to divide and distribute the energy to taken by its uh, to supply parts of it that needs it flowers divided that uh, distributes their seeds in a broader sense it can always include free grant, granting of use rights goods that can be treated for non trivial goods such as information so next is the honesty so honesty refers to the basics of moral character and connects positive and virtue attributes such as integrity truthfulness straightforwardness including straightforwardness of conduct along with the actions of lying cheating theft etc furthermore Honesty means being trustworthy, loyal, fair, and sincere. Honesty is valued in a many ethical and religious cultures. Honesty is the best policy. Is the proverb of Benjamin Franklin. Honesty is the first chapter of the book Wisdom of Proverb of Thompson Jefferson. So next is the courage. Courage also called as bravery, bravado, and love. It is the choice or willingness of to confront or any. pain danger uncertainty so next is the physical courage is the courage is the face of physical pain hardship death and threat death threat of death while courage a moral courage is the ability to act rigidly in the face of popular opposition shame scandal and discouragement and the or the personal losses valuing time so at the first st- step is the good time management is to understand the values of the your time if you are employed by someone else you need to understand how much to the encouragement 
uh, is paying off your time and how much profit TRC expects to make from you. If you are working for yourself, you should be have an idea of how much income you want to be bring to the after tax by working these figures back to an hourly rate. This gives an idea of the value of your time. So cooperation, cooperation is a process of group of organisms working or acting together for the common or mutual benefit as a, um, uh, opposed to working in the competition for the selfish benefit. So empathy, empathy is the ability to mutually experience the thought, emotions and the direct experience for the others. The ability to understand another person's circumstances, point of view, thoughts and on feeling is the empathy. When you experience in the empathy, you are able to understand someone else in, in internal experiences. Finally, the self-confidence. Self-confidence related to the self-assuredness in one of the personal judgment, ability, power, etc. Sometimes, being conflict in your, yourself is the impetus if you are present yourself well. Otherwise, you will be followed by the footsteps towards other person. Promise yourself no matter how difficult the problems life throws to you. That you will be tried as a hard as to be helped yourself. Thank you.